Hey everyone, welcome to Rock Bottom Vlogs. Um, thanks for joining me. I think I'm having a bad week. It's only Tuesday. I'm exhausted. I'm super tired and I don't know why. I think I'm getting enough sleep. I wake up a lot in the night. I, I don't think I'm depressed. Because when you're depressed and you have anxiety and stuff, you get really tired. It takes all of the energy out of you. It sucks everything out of your body until you have nothing left. I don't think that's happening to me right now, but I also don't know. And I'm just trying to resolve it, so I'm going to try and go to bed earlier tonight and see if that works out. I have, I have a kind of date tomorrow. This will be the first time I've gone out to meet with a woman in a social setting in nine years. So there's that. <laughs> there's something that I've noticed about myself too, and it's after getting out of that long relationship, it's like I'm haunted, you know? And I probably discussed this previously, I gotta go back and watch all my videos, but I'll be walking outside and it's goddamn cold and I'll just start to think to myself how upset I am about the way I was treated and the things that were done to me and just how the, everything turned out and not even that First part about it all is if she came back tomorrow, which I know, I know she never will. I've given up on her ever coming back. It's not a real thing. But if she did, I don't know that I would say no to her. Even after she has gone out of her way to try and hurt me at this point. And that makes me angry at myself. I've always been the kind of man that is easy for women to take advantage of. And I don't think that women seek out to take advantage of men. I don't. I don't believe that women are evil and I don't believe when I meet and talk with a woman at any point that I think they're looking for ways to take something from me or use me or anything. It's just, I'm, I'm susceptible to that. That is a weak point that I have and I've always had it. If I meet, because I have this habit where I put women on a pedestal no matter who they are they are above me and because of that I will I will act as though I am in service to them and that makes it easy for people of loose ethics take advantage of me and the worst part is even though I'm conscious of it now I don't know that I can avoid it I think the best way that I'm avoiding it currently is that I don't really have anything to give or take I mean I've never been stupid about it I've never been like you know put myself in the poorhouse over somebody but I 
if I have things to give, I will give all of it. And it sounds kind of pathetic coming out of my mouth right now. But I guess I was feeling pretty lonely today. And I was shooting through online dating. And that online date, if you want to destroy your confidence, be a non-photogenic guy and go on online dating. But it occurred to me that there are hundreds of very attractive single women in this city. hundreds of them. Now at least one more of them is going to be going to find me charming enough to spend time with me. Just one more. That's all it takes. One in a thousand. Or a couple thousand. It's not bad. That's pretty good odds. That's probably more than one. And maybe I can turn that line of thinking into something more confident and maybe before I can even do any of that I need to rid myself of these ghosts so when I'm walking alone I'm not thinking about all the ways I've been hurt and I could start thinking about something else thanks for joining me I'll see you guys next time take care